Welcome to the Clinical Cousins YouTube channel where today we're going to be talking about neuromuscular agents. First, we have our blocking botulinum toxin. This is the same stuff that's found in Botox that people love to get shot into their face. Botulinum toxin works on our presynaptic motor neuron and doesn't allow our vesicle to ever be opened into the synaptic cleft. This prevents the message from being sent to the muscle fiber. Therefore, no muscle contraction will take place. Next, we have our competing curare. Curare goes and competes for a spot at our acetylcholine receptor. If curare binds with our acetylcholine receptor, it means that acetylcholine did not get to bind with our acetylcholine receptor. This means that the ion channel will never open, no miniature end plate potentials will be generated, the muscle fiber will not generate an action potential, and contraction will cease to exist. Next, we will look at D-tubocurine, or DTC. This drug also competes for a spot at the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor and prevents depolarization in the muscle cell. Lastly, we have our alpha bungaro toxin. This toxin undergoes irreversible binding with our precious nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. This means that acetylcholine will never be able to bind to this receptor again and will have to wait until a new receptor is formed. All of the toxins mentioned previously can cause respiratory paralysis and death. This would occur if these toxins were to enter the bloodstream and make their way to the neuromuscular junction of the diaphragm muscle. How do we combat these toxins? We have neostigmine. Neostigmine inhibits our acetylcholine esterase eraser. If we inhibit the eraser, it means that more acetylcholine will be available to bind to our ACH receptors. This is why acetylcholine esterase inhibitors, or ACHEIs, are used for the treatment of a disease called myasthenia gravis. In these patients, they have a decreased amount of functional acetylcholine receptors. Therefore, we want to increase the amount of acetylcholine, which will increase the chance that acetylcholine will get to bind to one of their functional receptors. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today, and remember to like and subscribe for more content.